Hey guys, today let's look at 01 knapsack problem. So the problem statement is given a set of items, each with weight and benefit, determine the items to include in a collection so that total weight is less than or equal to a given limit and total benefit is maximized. For example, if this is the given set of four items with their corresponding weights and benefits, which items should we choose from this set if we cannot pick total weight greater than 5 because that is the limit we have and at the same time we want to maximize the benefit. Now if we just choose item 3, we already hit the weight limit of 5 and total benefit we will be getting is 9. And if we choose item 0 and 1, the total weight we will be getting is 2 plus 2 4 that is less than 5 and the benefit we will be getting is 3 plus 7 that is 10 which is greater than 9. You can verify for yourself that any other combination of items does not result in benefit greater than 10. Hence the optimal solution for this example would be to pick items 0 and 1. So for this example if we choose item 0 and 1 we will be getting maximum benefit of 10 that is optimal. Now let's look at the approach to solve this problem. We will be using the same example but with modified weight limit as 10. We start from item 0. I call this state as w is equal to 10 and n is equal to 0 where n denotes the item number we are at and w denotes the weight limit in this state. Note that we have got two choices in this state either to include item 0 or to exclude it. If we include the item 0 we reach state w is equal to 8 n is equal to 1 that is we are left with weight limit of 8 and we start looking from item 1 and onwards. When we do not include the item 0 in the knapsack, we reach this state of w is equal to 10 and n is equal to 1. Now in this path where we are including the item 0 in the knapsack, the benefit that we will be getting is benefit from item 0 that is 3 plus whatever the benefit that will be returned by this state. And in this path the benefit that we will be getting is 0 plus whatever the benefit that will be returned by this state. This is 0 because we are not including the item 0 in the knapsack. Let's now look at this state of w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 1. So we are looking at item 1 now and we have got two choices either to include item 1 in the knapsack or not to include item 1. If we include the item 1 we will reach this state of w is equal to 6 n is equal to 2 because weight of item 1 that is 2 is deducted from w is equal to 8 right. And if we do not include item 1 in the knapsack, we reach this state of w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 2. Now in this path, the benefit obtained will be benefit from item 1 that is 7 plus whatever the benefit returned by this state. And in this path, the benefit will be 0 because we are not including the item 1 plus whatever the benefit returned by this state. Similar is the case for these two states. Here the benefit will again be 7 plus whatever the benefit returned by this state and here it will be 0 plus whatever benefit returned by this state right. Now let's come back to w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2 state. Here again we are looking at item 2 and we have got two choices either to include item 2 in the knapsack or not to include it. Because of that we end up in these two states of w is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 and w is equal to 6 and is equal to 3 states. In the first path where we have included the item 2 in knapsack the benefit that we will be getting is 2 because 2 is the benefit we will be getting by including the item 2 plus whatever the benefit returned by this state and similarly here we will be getting 0 plus whatever the benefit returned by this state. Similar is the case for all other states. Now let's look at w is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 state. So this is the first state here and in this state w is equal to 2 means we have got weight limit of 2 and we are looking at item 3 and because after item 3 there are no more items to look at we will decide if to include or not to include item 3 in the knapsack here itself. In the state w is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 weight limit 2 is actually less than 5 so we cannot really include item 3 in this state. Therefore the benefit that we will be getting from this state will be 0. So this is an important step. Make sure you understand it. Because the weight limit 2 is less than the item 3's weight 5, we cannot include item 3 in the knapsack. Therefore we won't be getting any benefit in this state. 
therefore this state will return 0 as benefit. In the state w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 3, because the weight limit 6 is greater than item 3's weight, we can actually include item 3 in the knapsack when we are in this state of w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 3. Therefore, the benefit that we will be getting from this state will be 9 because 9 is the benefit that we are getting by including item 3. So, this state will return 9 as benefit, right? Similarly, we cannot include item 3 here and 0 will be returned. Here, we can include item 3 and 9 will be returned. Similar is the case for all other 4 states. Now, let's come back to w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2 state. Note that here, if we include the item 2, we are getting benefit of 2 plus whatever the benefit returned by this. So, this is now returning 0. Therefore, the total benefit by including item 2 in knapsack is 2 when we are in this state. And if we do not include the item 2 in the knapsack, we are getting the benefit of 0 plus this state's benefit, right? So, this is 9 plus 0, that is 9. This is again an important step. We are getting more benefit by not including the item 2 in the knapsack and the benefit is 9. So, I am marking this as not including item 2 in knapsack when we are in this state and we are getting benefit of 9. Same is the case for state w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 2. We will be getting more benefit by not including the item 2 in knapsack when we are in this state, right? So, this state actually will be returning 9 and we are not including here. Similarly, this state will return what? 9 and by not including, right? In the state w is equal to 10 and n is equal to 2 though, we are getting more benefit by including item in the knapsack and the benefit we are getting is 11 because 11 is greater than 9. 0 plus 9 is 9 and 2 plus 9 is 11. Now we know what are the benefits returned by all these four states of n is equal to 2. So, w is equal to 6, n is equal to 2, return what? 9. Therefore, the benefit that we will get by including item 1 in the knapsack is 16. And benefit that we will get by excluding the item 1 from the knapsack is 0 plus this state return 9. So, here 9, right? By excluding. Similarly, here we will get benefit of 16 by including item 1 and benefit of what? 11 by excluding. Clearly, in both states of w is equal to 8, n is equal to 1 and w is equal to 10, n is equal to 1, we are better off including item 1 in the knapsack and the benefit we will be getting from that action is 16, 16, right? So, these two states actually are returning 16 benefit. Now, we are in a position to compute the benefit obtained in this state of w is equal to 10 and n is equal to 0. If we are to include the item 0 in the knapsack, we will be getting benefit of 3 plus whatever is written by this state, that is 16. And if we do not include item 0 in the knapsack, we will be getting benefit of 0 plus whatever is written by this state, that is 16. So, this is 19 and this is 16. So, clearly, the maximum benefit that we can get is 19 here. Now let's look at the code that uses this approach. So this find optimal item subroutine actually implements the algorithm. It takes argument as weight limit w and item number n. It also has arguments as val array and weight array. These are nothing but benefit array and weight array respectively. So for this example our val array will be 3729 and weight array will be 2245. In this if block we check if the weight limit is 0 or if n is actually exceeding the number of items that we have. If any of this condition is true, then we know that we cannot obtain any benefit and therefore we return 0. In here, we check if the current item's weight is greater than the weight limit that we have. If that is the case, then we know that we cannot include the current item in the knapsack. Therefore, what we do is, we call find optimals from next item onwards without actually deducting the weight limit because we are not including the item in the knapsack. Now if both of these conditions are false, our control reaches here and at this point what we are doing is we are computing the benefit that could be obtained by including the item that is current item in the knapsack. For doing that what we do is we find the optimal solution 
by reducing the weight limit by current items weight because we are including it in knapsack and starting from next item onwards and we add that to the benefit that could be obtained by this item at this point we compute the benefit that could be obtained by excluding the item from the knapsack for doing that what we do is we compute the maximum benefit that could be obtained by keeping the weight limit same because we are not including the item and starting from next item onwards once we know the benefit that could be obtained by including the item and by excluding the item we just return the greater of these two values by using this max function now if you notice in this find optimal subroutine we are only returning the maximum benefit possible in each state which is defined by w and n right for example from state w is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 we return benefit of 0 and from state w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 3 we return benefit of 9 similarly when all the states return their maximum possible benefits we know what is the total maximum benefit that could be obtained using all these items but we don't really know which item should be included in the knapsack to get this benefit to know as to which item should be included in the knapsack each state should also return a knapsack containing items which yield maximum benefit for example from state w is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 we also return an empty knapsack with benefit 0 and from state w is equal to 6, n is equal to 3 along with benefit 9 we also return a knapsack containing item 3 in it right when when the state w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2 receives these two knapsacks along with the benefits it decides not to include itself in the knapsack and therefore it only returns a knapsack containing item 3 because it decided not to include itself now at w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 1 it gets two knapsacks one from w is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2 and one from w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 2 actually this also returns an app sack containing an item 3 in it but because algorithm decides to include item 1 in the app sack what it does is it uses this app sack and adds adds itself to the app sack so from this state it actually returns an app sack containing item 1 because it added itself and item 3 and when the state w is equal to 10 and n is equal to 0 gets two knapsacks back from w is equal to 8 n is equal to 1 and from this state algorithm sees that it can get the maximum possible benefit by using this knapsack of item 1 and 3 and it adds itself to this knapsack that is 1 3 0 will be the new optimal knapsack and that is returned as the final optimal knapsack so by returning the knapsack along with the benefit we are now in a position to see which item should be included as you can clearly see the time complexity for this algorithm would be exponential because there are 2 power n possible states for given n items right now can we reduce these computations now in this subroutine of find optimal items there is a problem of redundant computations the result returned by this state of w is equal to 8 and n is equal to 2 is exactly same as result returned by this state same is the case for these two pairs of w is equal to 4 n is equal to 3 and w is equal to 8 n is equal to 3 to avoid this what we can do is we can store the intermediate results in a two dimensional array which would be indexed by w and n because that's how we identified the unique states right with these two modifications that is one of returning a knapsack along with the benefit and second of using an array to store the intermediate results let's look at the code now because this code uses the same logic as previous subroutine let's only look at the differences that exist between this code and previous subroutine we are now returning an object instead of integer benefit that object basically contains a knapsack that is list items and its corresponding benefit and the second difference is we are now using optimal knapsack to store the intermediate results and to avoid recomputations so for example here if we are supposed to make a call find optimal items for these two arguments w minus weight of n and n plus 1 we first check if that result has been already computed if it is then we don't need to make this recursive call and we directly return the new object that is constructed from the intermediate result I hope the explanation was clear. Thank you.